How did Chelsea Manalo end up getting the crown while she was not on everybody's books or predictions? Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to yet another video. My name is Peter, all the way from South Africa. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Saibi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Make sure to subscribe and make sure you let me know on the comment sections so that I can welcome you. So that I can welcome you to our family, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to be talking about the Miss Universe Philippines. As you all know that Miss Universe Philippines has completed and we need to actually make sure that we complete everything together and um, we have to ask questions and we have to answer some questions because there's a lot of questions that are coming out. Um, how did she win? How did um, Chelsea win Miss Universe Philippines? What happened to the front runners and all of those things? We're going to discuss all that over here and reacting to how she actually the whole um, the whole Miss Universe finals, Miss Universe Philippines finals, how it went for this particular candidate who is Chelsea Manalo that will be representing the Philippines in Mexico this year, later this year. I'm so excited about it. So let's get into this video. So we're going to react to her. Actually, I liked this part where she was doing this slow mo walk when she started her walk. I loved, it. I loved it. It was very different. Um, no one did that, and um, that will that shall tell you that she was um, she was a stand out from the beginning. Even though a lot of people didn't see her coming. Okay, hold up. Did you see that she, every move that she made, every move that she made was perfectly executed, perfectly. And she didn't do a lot of things on stage. She didn't have to do much on stage because she's got the beauty, she's got the physique. She is just a different kind of a caliber um, of the Miss Universe Philippines, which is um, something that should tell you that she was destined to actually get that crown because um, you don't have to do all this gimmick on stage. I always, I stressed it so much. I always say it on my videos and I said it when I was doing my actual um, predictions and all the activities that happened that you don't have to do all this gimmicky stuff in order for you to win or to be noticed. Your, 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 you being there and being yourself, um, that means you are worthy of getting that crown. You don't have to put all the spices in, 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 in something that has got spices already. So that's what she did.
you see when she speaks right she she doesn't look scared she doesn't look nervous she just um makes a conversation i spoke about it um i spoke about this um during the interview preliminary interviews um that when she speaks she puts everybody at ease she is um she 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 is she makes you to be part of the conversation and she makes everything to be is so relatable um whatever she said there it is something that is very re- relatable even though we wouldn't say it is relatable and all of those things and whatever but this is relatable this is the most relatable thing that you can ever say i mean um i wouldn't in my head i can see a beauty queen running around um with high heels carrying their ice cream because it's their favorite thing to eat right so i i loved how how she answered that question it was very um it was at ease it was a very easy qu- question and she gave a very easy answer a very um clean answer Okay, when she came with that dress, I said that dress is simple obviously, but the shawl or whatever cape that you see there with fur, I said this is crazy. I will use the exact words that I used on my live because I I did the live. So thank you so much to everybody who was um on my live during the Miss Universe Philippines for that 5 hours, my dear. It was hectic but i said bulakan is going nuts that's what i said bulakan is going nuts because i was like what what is this honey what is this because this is pure drama but in an elegant way she was super elegant super elegant like down to earth Look, whoever did her makeup, right? Whoever did her makeup, whoever advised with the styling of the hair with that high bun, with whoever came up with the with the um earrings, the the lips did justice to her. Did the biggest justice to her because I didn't like her look during the swimsuit. I didn't like the the the, the I think I didn't like the 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 heavy makeup that was showing on her face but when she came out with this look and she looked this clean I was like okay my gosh please take me down um please get me off this high horse because this girl is coming for every thing a very very angelic performance when it comes to that um evening gown even in gown you don't need to do all this crazy stuff of like obviously you're not Katrina Gray so you cannot be doing things that you are not going to stand for so she did everything that she had to do but it was very classy it was very elegant that's what you need to understand when it comes to evening gown because you cannot be wearing a very custom a very expensive custom made dress and then you start doing these shenanigans that a lot of queens think that everything has to do with miss grand international no and um i love the fact that they chose white um the dress was the dress is actually very nice i saw the dress on on um on the picture but because of the lighting it looked like the dress is too simple but 
the cape made it to be way better than anything you know you cannot never go wrong um with a simple dress but adding some dramatic very elegant dramatic to it you know this was perfectly executed as well fantastic just like a queen she is let's talk about um that q and a let's talk about how she answered the question let's talk about the, the the question itself um she perfectly answered that question she didn't sound like an ai she didn't sound like an over rehearsed answer she sounded like this answer just came into her, her mind and she has she had to deliver it and you can you can hear from when she's um when she she says um beauty has standards you can hear that she couple of she she kind of st um stutter there or something like that you can you, you can just tell that this is something that came up so she's thinking like this because that's what you have to do if you are a leader a transformational leader they have to have answers immediately when they are getting um that cross questioning part of things so this is what i i i i liked about her answer and this answer actually is one of the most best answers that um we received on this um on this batch of miss universe philippines and also we have to think about how she answered that question did you see how she was looking at everybody did you see how she was looking at everybody did you see the ease at answering that question she was at ease she was not trembling she was not shaking she was just talking so she she didn't she didn't show the fear if you are a leader you're not supposed to show the fear you're not supposed to show the the, the nerves because people are not going to believe in you and you will obviously forget things that you memorized you try to memorize everything um you try to make these q and a's um before the night of the competition and all of those things and that's what she 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 actually gave us she gave us everything that we wanted to hear and she definitely deserved to win let me just finish it and then i'll speak the rest of the things that i want to say so obviously guys you saw you saw the rest of the videos you saw the rest of the whole package that was happening during the finals i'm not going to talk about prelims and anything obviously the score that happens during finals is an additional of the things that you did before so all those things that she was doing they already knew that this is the girl um and also on top of that if obviously they wanted someone different they wanted someone who kind of um maybe look like one of the candidates and stuff like that they wouldn't have done it because obviously they are judges that were judging the competition and i feel like they did not secretly brought up this person this particular candidate to win miss universe philippines this is a legitimate win, legitimate win this is one of the wins that i actually liked in the philippines we thought that a lot of people thought that this candidate is going to win miss universe philippines a lot of us um are vloggers actually we actually had totally different people in our number 1 spot for miss universe some people didn't even have bulacan in their top 5s some people didn't even have and i can tell you if you go back to my videos i told you guys that bulacan is transforming to the point that you can see that she is becoming this leader that will actually even take the miss universe crown 
at, um, at in Mexico um, later this year. So I see her doing really, really well in um, Mexico. And I actually see her winning the crown because at this point of time, with all the candidates that have been crowned um, for, at this point of time, my ranking, she is the ranking. She is my number one at the moment. Unless there's someone who is really, really more better then for now it is her and um there's miss south africa still coming up and all with that miss south africa coming up i see a lot of potential candidates that i would say maybe they will they will do well at miss universe and i will support them obviously but for now i'm supporting Bula Khan. and also if you are subscribed to this channel you should be supporting Bula Khan because no one else no one else will be representing the Philippines at the Miss Universe 2024. She is the only person that will represent. Do not do the same thing that you were doing to um to the previous Miss Universe Philippines. You know, you know, you know her. Michelle D. You remember Michelle D. Yes, the one who just crowned Chelsea couple of hours ago that one yes a lot of people were bashing her and all of those things and when she did really well at miss universe um, um stage and obviously she didn't bring the crown but she did super well she brought all her guns blazing and she will go down as a historic miss universe philippines ever She's one of those. And also, let's talk about um, the last couple of years when Miss Universe Philippines was crowning their, their, their actual candidates. Let's talk about how the candidates are. All the candidates, you can go back, all the candidates who won Miss Universe Philippines, they were all down to earth, except one candidate who never, never, she did not this candidate let me let me say let me say for the past five years let me say for the past five the past five miss universes um prior to chelsea the past five miss universes prior to chelsea one miss universe did miss universe philippines did not get a placement at miss universe why we all know why she was a w totally different type of a person um personality wise her personality was not shining. The personality was not there. She was not a soft spoker. She was not. I don't want to mention her name because I don't want to sound like um, I'm celebrating her downfall during the Miss Universe pageant. But um, I think you know who I'm talking about. Um, the rest, if you can think about, for example, you can think about Katrina Gray, um, Gazzini, um, uh, my favorite one. Um, this lady, oh, why am I forgetting her name? Why am I forgetting her name? Who just had um, the top five also? Ah, she's my, she's one of my favorite Miss Universe Philippines. Oh, I cannot believe I forgot her name. I cannot believe I forgot her name, but I will put her name somewhere here. But all of them, all of those people were very down to earth. They were very soft and salty on stage. They were sultry and they were just, it, it, they, were, they were not doing much. They were not doing too much. Like they were not doing too much. And also I would like to say to people who are saying that um, one specific candidate should have um, gone to top five and all of those things. Do you know how many times Pia was back entered Miss Universe Philippines till she won Miss Universe Philippines and she won Miss Universe? Do you know how many times? Do you know that Katrina Gray did not win Miss Un Miss 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 um Miss World and she won Miss Universe? So if the stars are not lining for you, if the stars are not aligned, you're not gonna win. It's not your time. And if you're not doing the right things as well. You're not gonna win. It's not your time. So she is the moment. We are no, we are now going to support her. Please stop with the bashing. It's too childish. It's too childish and it's not gonna work. It's not gonna make your candidate that you were favoring win. It, it, it's just not gonna work. It's either they come back again, but they need to change certain things in order for them to win the crown. It's only for one person every year, right? That is what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching till this far. Please make sure you subscribe.
Make sure you comment down below and make sure when you comment down below, you keep it clean and let me know if you are in my own bus where we support Chelsea, right? Have a fantastic one. I'll see you on my next upload.